Hey there, how's it going everybody? So we got some much needed rain on its way into the Bay Area, California. And you know I'll be capturing some of that water in my rainwater harvesting system here. I thought this would be a great time to share with you how I go about keeping my system nice and clean, free of debris. And you know, after three years of service, you can see the water coming out is still crystal clear. There's no sediment. It's really easy to accomplish this with just a little bit of maintenance before the rains come in. So obviously the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean out your rain gutters. And you don't want any of this stuff making its way down into your rain barrel system. It can really gunk it up. And so before the rains come in, you're going to want to take care of that. But before I actually clear out the gutter, the first thing I'm going to do is clear off the roof. It doesn't do you much good if you're cleaning out the gutters if you got debris on the roof. And then when it rains, that just falls right back into the gutter. So I'm using a leaf blower to do this. You can use even a broom. And once I got the roof nice and clean, then what I'm going to recommend you invest in, this little tool works great, it's called the Gutter Getter. It's inexpensive, it makes cleaning the gutters a breeze. What I love about it is that it's very flexible, so you can easily get it in and out of the different sections of gutter. You can also turn it over and give it a scrape this way, but it does just a fantastic job at cleaning out the gutter, so check that out. I'll put a link below this video if you're interested in looking more into that. The other great thing about it is that it's compact enough that it slides right under the gutter brackets. So really you can slide the scoop several feet through the gutter until you got it completely full and then pull it out to dump it in a bucket or whatever else you got. So once you got the gutter clean, hopefully you've got a debris filter at the downspout, something similar to this. So you're just going to want to give that a quick clean and just make sure that the downspout is clear. Then I recommend giving the gutter a nice good blast of water. And this is also another great opportunity to check and make sure that the downspout is draining properly. As you can see, we got a nice clean gutter here now. So the next tip I want to give you is even when you got everything nice and clean, you still want to allow that first flush of water coming down the downspout to be diverted. At least 10 to maybe 20 gallons of that. You can use a separate container like a garbage can or the green waste container you see I'm using here. But what this is going to allow is any other residual dirt contaminants that might be on the roof and in the gutter. That's going to all flush out with that first 10 to 20 gallons. And you can still utilize this in your landscape, but you just want to keep that first flush of water out of your main tank. Now I switch over the hoses manually by hand, but there's actually products that you could buy or plans where you can make your own first flush diverter. It's rather easy, so you might want to look into that. Now the next tip is to make sure that the debris filter on your rain barrel system is nice and clean as well. As you can see, mine is very clean. That's because I do all of that maintenance and cleaning beforehand. But even though I'm just going to give it a quick spritz of water and, and clean out the screen, you can use a mesh screen, you can use an old piece of hosiery. The main thing with this is whatever kind of mesh material you use, you want to make sure that the holes are small enough to not allow any critters in there, especially mosquitoes. That could be a real problem. So once you got that clean, you can just plug that back in the system. And after that first flush, I just transfer the hose right over to the main tanks. And now we're ready to go. You'll be surprised at how many hundreds of gallons of water you can collect in just one overnight storm. So the second tube you see coming out of the barrel is actually an overflow. You want to make sure you have something like this installed as well. And that overflow pipe finds its way down to the French drain. And that way there's no chance of the system overflowing where it stands. And now we're ready to collect that wonderful clean rainwater. Use it in our garden. The plants love it. It's wonderful for making compost tea. So if you're not already, I'd encourage you to try your hand at rainwater harvesting. And I'll put a link below this video to the video where I explain how I built this rainwater harvesting system. And with that, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.